In this tech tip, we'll go behind the scenes with some of the options in the section view feature. Let's start with exclude and include. Using exclude will remove specific components from the section view. We'll start by selecting a section plane and then a few items to exclude. The section cut will not apply to the selected components. We can also apply a second section plane and maintain the selections of the excluded components in doing so. The include option does just the opposite. We'll select a section plane, but this time pick only the components which we wish to see cut in the section view. You can select individual components directly on screen or select an entire subassembly using the instance list. You can also manipulate section views on screen. Using the manipulator arrow, we can move the section view forward or backward to locate the desired cutting plane. You can add additional section planes as well, allowing up to three independent cutting planes at any one time. Using the manipulator ball at the end of the arrow, you can rotate a created section plane. You may adjust it freely on drag, or of course, key in a specified value for an angle. If you need to edit a section view but have closed the dialog, simply double click on the section plane on the model. All of the selections that you have created are remembered and you may make any changes that you desire. Finally, the status of the section view is actually remembered when creating named views. Once you've created a complex series of sections, simply create a named view to be able to quickly return back to it at any point in time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as always for more Onshape tech tips.